Well, the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Don, I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. It's cracked. It's cracked. I'm on crack right now. You are. You are. Um, so TNT. What? There was a. There's a former school district person in Chicago ish area. Okay. That they are involved in embezzling funds from the school. You know, the classic issue of, like, you're stealing funds from your institution. You're politically donating to the wrong people. Your, your pack sack is to sack the pack. You know what is I mean? snatching from the homecoming collection plate or something? No, she... Stealing from the student council newspaper? She stole one five million dollars. That's more 1. than... $1.5 million, but not in the form of cash. In the form of chicken wings. Oh my god. This lady somehow about this. <laughs> ordered 11,000 extra cases of chicken wings over time. I'm like, does this lady have a wing business on the side? Where who I mean, how do you eat 1.5 million dollars in chicken wings? And that's the bulk price. That's not like the street value. So this happened over time, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, this, I, obviously she didn't just order a million dollars worth of chicken wings at one point. Right, right, but like so, like she just like I don't even think the school served chicken wings. If I remember, I read the story a while ago, but like, and she just like was just started ordering cases of chicken wings with the food orders, and then she just would just take them. That's 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 some crazy stuff. Look, and I look, I totally get it. You get you see a little box, you can just check it off, they'll send it over there, and then you like, hey, I just got a free box of chicken wings. Hey, I can get you a free box, I can get you a free box, I can get everybody a free box. <laughs> you start ordering. Her brother's like, hey, why don't you give me some free chicken wings yeah. too? And she's like, okay, next time I'll get two boxes. Yeah. Next thing, then like her cousin's calling her exactly. up. Exactly, hey, we're having a party. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sherry, you go get 19 boxes of chicken wings. <laughs> 19? Why 19? I don't know. That was the first number that popped in my head. <laughs> but I just couldn't even, like... That's a lot. I couldn't even imagine, like... How, like, how does that get out of control? Like, what do you mean? Like you said, like, control? I could see, like, you doing it, like, one... But, like, you know when you're, like, I can't even put it into words. I'd imagine if they don't say anything after the first, like, five or six times, you're like, oh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> we're just... We're golden. They'll never figure it out. I can't. I love chicken wings. And I don't know how long it would take me to eat 11,000 boxes of chicken wings. Like I said, this definitely happened over time. This happened. This, this wasn't, wasn't like a one-time order. It wasn't a two-time order. This was probably her for her working for the district for like years and years and years and ordering the chicken wings and me. And like, like two boxes a week for, yeah, <laughs> for and like then and, then the, and I can just picture the lunch ladies like. I see we keep getting these chicken wings, but we don't see any chicken wings on the menu. It, we don't it's even probably just poor pearls in there going, why do we always have chicken wings? We don't ever serve chicken wings. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then they were just like, so wait a minute. We've been ordering chicken wings for the last five years, two boxes a week. And <laughs> the school doesn't eat. That is a grand total of $1.8 million dollars worth of wings. So Shay, so you ordered two boxes a week, right? <laughs> All right, and then and the then divide math? it by fifty-two weeks. You don't get this on any her... other pod. Wait, what? I said you don't get this on any other podcast. Yeah, right. What other person? So she's eleven thousand boxes, two a week, and then we'll divide that by fifty-two weeks. That's a hundred and five years. A hundred and five years, right, or, or one hundred and five dollars equals. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, why is the math not working? Yeah, eleven thousand boxes, yeah, right? right? I hit one hundred ten thousand. Yeah. Figure it out, my bad. Well, this, I can't. My you're, this you're is discombobulating me. Riveting, ever entertained. I'm so, entertained. I I know. Fifty five hundred uh -huh, mm -hmm. excursions of chicken wings, dude. Yeah. And then you divide that by fifty two weeks. Okay. That's so. Yeah. That's right. Is that how we do it? I have no idea what know. you're doing anymore. It's a lot of time she was doing it for, dude. <laughs> longer than she was alive. I, like I said, she was getting them bulk. Those bulk boxes, like the ones you get from like Cisco and shit, they always jack the prices up. Yeah, but like. So you're looking at probably like a hundred dollars a box over, you know. Well, yeah, well, it's at eleven thousand boxes. So mm -hmm. that's that's so dumb. Have you ever, uh, like, have you ever like? Yes. <laughs> I did it. I can't. Why would I lie about? It? I definitely did. What were you gonna ask me? Uh, it probably exactly what you answered. Like <laughs> something from like ha had a job, like uh, one of those jobs with food, and you like yeah. got. 
A hundred percent. I worked at Mr. Heroes. The Statue of Limitations is going over this. I worked for Mr. Heroes. I used to give sandwiches away to my friends and stuff. Oh, all the yeah. Time. I mean, I think that's the whole thing about working at fast food is like. I had like three loaves of Mr. Hero, like a uh, sub bread grinder, <laughs> grinder loaf. Well, they would give us tons it? of stuff, too. Like sometimes yeah. like, like, hey, like this is about where we can't. You only got like a week. I'm like, oh, OK, cool. I'll take it. And you used to work at Wendy's, right? Yeah, yeah. We uh, I had a big like I had a big like gallon jug of pickles in my <laughs> fridge for like ever <laughs> a gallon of pickles. it was a it was a, one of the big jugs with like all the sandwich slices they would come in <laughs> and like dude they were so good it lasted a me forever and then one time the one i think i think this was i think the boss wild. actually give i had a whole bag of spicy chicken in my fr in my freezer yeah. i didn't just take it i think like it was given to me by like a, somebody a manager somebody yeah it like but it, cooking them at home was not easy <clears throat> Like, <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. It, it didn't. Be. Yeah. I you know, don't, don't, you, don't you deep fry them? Things? Yeah. I mean, I probably could have baked them in the oven. They would have taken like six hours probably. Like, I don't know. I don't, I think like, I think I ended up giving them away to somebody else or whatever, but I was just like, yeah, I, that was the only place. That, oh, but, Papa. Well, when I worked at Papa John's, we used to be able to make ourselves free pizzas all the time. Yeah, so. man. Like, like when you're working in food service, man, you think about it, you, you're going to, you're going to get, take a little bit, skim a little off the top. Yeah. Well, I mean, every single pizza that like someone didn't come and pick up, we, the staff ate. You yeah. know, they make a pizza and be like, it was a pickup order. They never came to get it. Hey, we got a pepperoni sausage. Like, anybody wants it? Because all you're going to do is throw it in the trash anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't so, give it away. Yep, exactly. Or be like, hey, this, uh, yeah, this, whatever. What's the stuff that no one ever ordered but actually was pretty good? It was uh, the spinach Alfredo pizza. was like the spinach and like. They were always like, this 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 bag of spinach Alfredo is gonna go bad at the end of the week. Let's make a couple pizzas we can eat them. I'm like, oh hell yeah! You never you never stole enough pizza to start your own pizza business though, huh? Uh, On don't you remember uh, uh, Jonah Sesses? I saw a pizza from the side. We remember do exactly one? how many boxes of pizza dough do we have? I used to sell them out out back of my house. Like some people come and knock, be like, cook, cook, cook. be like, you got that three day old pizza? I'm like, yeah, I cooked it on Friday. You want it? Ew. Yeah, because I mean, I couldn't cook them fresh. I didn't have a pizza oven. Yeah, you can't cook pizza in a regular oven. You can just cook a pizza in the oven. Yeah, but we can do all the dough. Those things come on big old pallets. I don't know how pizza works. Uh, there was a person that I worked with at the video store that got fired for, for giving away free rentals in exchange for pizza. Really? Like, he would, uh, there was a pizza place up the street, huh. and, uh, and the pizza people would come in and bring him pizza, and then he would, like, just take the charges for their rentals off of their uh, account. He was doing a, a, a Rochambeau on the pizza for uh, rentals thing. Because the, the guy, the pizza, the manager at the pizza place was kind of sleazy, and this guy was kind of sleazy, so they, like, they sleazed it up together. And huh. I used to know a guy, know a guy, mm -hmm. who worked at a Sears, and that, this guy, not me, but this guy, yeah. he used to uh, work in the shoe department, and this guy would, uh, he would often give employee discounts to people coming in looking for shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew there was people in, uh, when we were in high school that we knew that worked at Spencer's that would just let people we knew go in and steal whatever they wanted. That's like, they'd be like, we're like, like they would just be working and just be like, come on in and just like, I'll turn my back while you, I'll pretend Dude. I don't. I don't know what you're doing. I'm like, why do you? Why would you do that? Like that mall was crazy. I used to work at that. Used to work at the video game arcade. In there, you better believe that if you were like, oh, you well, want to play a couple games, I just well, open the, open the thing up, flip that switch a couple times, give you like fifty credits. Well, but you, we also know the guy who the people at Wendy's would bring him bacon, and he would sit there and eat bacon while he let them run video games for free. <laughs> They would steal bacon from Wendy's bacon. and bring it in, like a whole pound of bacon. <laughs> pound of and he bacon. would sit in the arcade and eat the bacon while they, and he would just give him the key to play all the free, or he would give him all the credits. Or I didn't know, I never watched it happen, but numerous people have told me the same story. So I know it's true. What's the over under on him still even being alive right now? What do you, what do you, oh, what the, do you the, give the, it? The baconator? Yeah. Oh, he's alive. Are you sure? I mean, didn't we look him up? No, nah, we have not. I, thought we I can't really up. find him. No. We, we can try, though. I thought we looked him up. I don't know. I hope he is alive, I mean, but yeah, honestly, the way he was going, man. Well, he, and he, the, another story about that same guy. He, uh, I never really hung out with him, but a, a bunch of people I knew knew him. I did. But then he, uh, at some point... I used to have – I, I had a place that people would come over and hang out all the time, and I, all sorts of random people would show up. And he eventually started showing up because he knew other people that were there. But he worked at Taco Bell, and he would always come over at the end of his shift way late, and he would bring a plastic bag filled with Taco Bell steak. And he would bring like 10 gordita shells, and either he would sit there and eat as much of it as he possibly could, or he would let anyone else have – 
yeah. whatever they wanted too. Yeah. But if no one else wanted it, he would sit there and eat as much of it as yeah. he could was, physically eat. It was always under the guise of I'm feeding everybody. <laughs> It was, and then he would eat, and like he would let you eat whatever you yeah, wanted. Yeah. But if you didn't, he would just sit there and eat whatever. Yeah, but he bought enough for more. He brought than enough for the whole house, and if no one else ate it, he ate enough yeah, for the whole house. Yeah. So it was interesting. But hey, I, I I enjoyed it. I had some free steak gorditas, but he didn't bring anything else. It was just steak and gordita. There was no cheese. There was no. I was like, but hey, we were like twenty. Yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.